Hey, what's up guys? Zorvax here. Um, I know I haven't had a lot of time to be online lately in general, but I did want to make a video um, about something I did in Warhammer when I hit rank 35. I actually decided to try out the one hand and shield on my Black Orc again. I had been doing two hand for a while since probably around level 20ish or so, and I've been really enjoying it, especially once I got to the point where I got like tree hit combo and a few other really cool abilities and got some better scenario gear and really started doing a fair amount of damage to people, um, especially in scenarios. But the more and more I leveled up and started doing open world RVR and like keep sieges and things like that, I was realizing quickly that my survivability just was so bad because all my gear was based around, you know, strength and just dealing damage and hitting things versus actually being able to take a hit. So even though I had a good bit of armor and um, hit points naturally being a, a black orc, I was still finding myself in open, open RVR just getting decimated as soon as we got into even a light skirmish with another group. So once I hit 35 or when I was getting close to 35, I was taking a look at the open world RVR uh, armor set because I had been doing a fair amount and I had saved up a, uh, a good bit of the emblems for it, uh, medallions, whichever they are, for the, the open world tank set. And I had enough of the other ones of the officers to get the one-handed shield. So I, was, I started thinking, well, maybe when I hit 35 and I can equip all this stuff, I will try out being a tank again. So I had a few tips from uh, folks on YouTube about the uh this this jewelry set um called like winds of impervious something i already forgot but i, I looked it up i found a, a thread online on how to get it so I, I ventured out and one of my uh good friends that i've made since playing warhammer came and, and helped me to get this set and he actually went ahead and got it himself on his tank and it was actually pretty easy. You just had to go do a few different things. The only one of them took long because we had to kill these uh, like lava spiders and they had a horrible drop rate. So we had to farm those for a while and that. If I was by myself, that would have taken me forever, but thankfully his tank was max level and we, we pretty much rolled through those. But so I, I did that, I got that set. Um, of course I was level 35 at this point, so I got my full armor set. Another kind person from my Twitch stream actually gave me the gloves and the boots because um, they said they had a black orc that they never leveled so that I could just have them. So all I had to buy was the other three pieces so luckily I had enough to go ahead and do that. And then I got the the one hand and the shield from my scenario tokens and then uh, that same friend uh, filling it gave me some talismans to put in all the gear and everything. So like I'm, I'm actually in really good shape starting out at, at level 35 going into this whole tanking thing. Um, and I know if you're watching the, the actual video footage as I'm talking, please be kind because I haven't played tank, like I said, since maybe around like level 19. Um, and I really hadn't done a lot of RVR yet. So I'm like, I literally threw everything on my bars and was trying to figure it out in these scenarios as I was going. So I know I'm, I'm not playing all that great, but... This is, this is kind of, I think after doing some PvP for a little bit, I'll get the hang of it better. But I really do like it, actually. It's, it's a different kind of rush playing a tank in RVR versus playing the two-hand. Because, I mean, obviously when you're playing the two-hand, you're playing it like a bruiser. You know, you're trying to, to charge after people and, you know, go after weaker people. And while you're also disrupting and, you know, knocking people back or knocking them down you're also actually able to kill people, whereas with a tank, you have a really hard time killing anybody, but your role is completely different because you're all about trying to, you know, guard your allies and buff your allies and debuff your enemies and also disrupt and all this other stuff. So I'm trying to get a good handle on, you know, using my guard ability correctly and, and staying close to my target and doing all that, as well as maintaining um, my buffs and debuffs. I, I went with the spec that I found on the forums to get some pretty cool stuff like I got uh, the wah ability, wah! So it's a really awesome buff that I try to keep up on my team as much as possible. I didn't have enough points to get the thing that allows it to last longer, so I'm, I'm hoping to get that soon. 
but I'm, I was like trying to keep that up as much as possible and trying to use my other abilities that were like debuffing enemies or buffing. I had another ability that like gives the members of my party a small damage absorb shield. Like I was trying to keep that up as much as possible. I was trying to remember to use my challenge because I know I've been bad about that in the past. Uh, I'm trying to get used to using that more often, the challenge and the taunt on the enemies to keep as much focus on me and to, to help that damage reduction for my allies as much as I can. So I think with time I'll get the hang of it. But what I was saying is that like the rush of being a tank is still a rush. It's just totally different because like instead of the rush of going after people and taking them down, it's that rush of like so many people are beating on you and trying to kill you and you're using all these different things to your advantage to stay alive and to also you're like you're keeping all the fire off your allies and you're helping them stay alive and you can you can do you can control the battlefield so much. Um, at least in scenarios, obviously. I haven't done any open world <laughs> since then. But it's, it's a lot easier to control the battlefield as a tank because you have all these different things at your disposal to make it to where people either want to attack you or it's debilitating for them to attack anyone else but you. So it's, it's really cool. I, I actually have really enjoyed the little bit that I've played so far. I'm hoping to get on some more uh, this weekend. Um, well, it is the weekend as I'm talking to you now, but I'm hoping to get on some more and get some more practice in and I also want to get some more open world RVR done because I I've got my renown link up to um, 41 now, which is a lot better than I was doing. It's, it's staying ahead of my level, but I'm almost to level 36 So I'm still only about five ahead and I need to get to 10 ahead as soon as I can I want to make sure that I'm as close to or at Renown rank 50 when I get to level 40 because that's what everyone's been telling me that is really important for me to do. So I'm looking forward to getting into some more open world RVR and I'm hoping now that as a tank I'll have some better survivability and I can actually do something out on the field even though I'm still you know lower rank, lower gear than everybody else, at least I have more of a fighting chance to stay alive. and. It'll give me a chance to get used to being a tank before I get to max level and I, I'm not going into the, the big boys club without any idea of how to play the character that I'm actually playing. So um, yeah, it's been, it's been really fun. I can't say enough thanks to everybody who's helped me through you know tips and tricks both here and on my Twitch stream. I haven't been streaming lately. Life has been really hard right now. Um, my wife's going through some stuff, so I've taken a break from streaming. I'm going to try my best to keep up with the YouTube videos. It might not be as many or as frequent as before, but I'm definitely going to try to keep these up as much as I can because I really enjoy making these videos, and I've really found a, a love for Warhammer and for sharing it with everybody. I've gotten so many of my friends to play, like <laughs> people who used to play WoW with me, people who um, don't really play MMOs, you know, just people that I only know through social media, like, have all said that they've wanted to play and they've gotten into playing. I've actually grouped with some of them. And it's a really cool feeling to, like, get people to to join in and play. It's, it's I hate the word influencer, but it's like, it's you're, I'm essentially, like, influencing people to come and play. And it's really cool, especially since uh, we need some more North American players. I'm tired of getting my butt kicked late at night when I'm trying to PvP because all the EU players went to bed, damn it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I appreciate you all very much. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying very hard to upload as constantly as I can, and that really helps. Uh, of course, liking, throw a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if there's anything I need to know going into this new tanking adventure. I'd love to hear it. But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope to see you on the next video.